Okay, yeah, so lots of baits here. Holy smokes. One of these days. <laughs> I'm gonna bust this thing up. Can't stand it. Welcome back to the world's worst fishing lure making TV. I'm your host, Chris Jones. And uh, these were too good not to show you guys. I am uh, absolutely blown away by how these came out. Lots of layering, lots of depth. I really kind of love the sort of turquoise blue. Now, being from Tallahassee, I'm a Seminoles fan. Not the biggest fan of orange and blue put together, of course, although I do love Shan's Hospital. But uh, man, that makes just a really, really pretty bluegill color. All right, everybody, check this out. New AI stickers, look at that hologram flake. Look at that. I'm jealous. I don't have any hologram flake that does that in my baits. How do I get that good of hologram flake? Jeez, like you would think we would have that, but no, I got a sticker over here kicking my butt. Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and I uh, hope you all like those um, bluegills there at the beginning. Um, really great pour, really super happy with how they came out. Um, so we have made it through most of our heart surgery recovery. Then we caught a really bad stomach virus last weekend that kind of rolled over into this past week. Uh, so we've been pretty wiped out. So, but we're, we're on the other side of that. We made it through. So now it's time to have some fun. Years ago, I did a video called the One Gallon Challenge. Um, I, so I actually, I think I've done two of them. I think the first one was with ribbon tail worms and then the next one was with um, little teeny tiny panfish baits. Today we're gonna do it with like creature baits or craws or something, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up my old, had this since like 2013, uh, gallon Presto pot. You know, we're gonna take a gallon of dead on plastics, of course, dead on plastics. Um, I think we have some floating swim bait blend. We're gonna fire a whole gallon and run a bunch of stuff and see how much we have. Those are always fun videos. So yeah, let's go have some fun. Let's make a lot of baits, tons of stuff for y'all to look at. And uh, I'm curious to, uh, to see how much we come out with. So here's what we have right there. So anytime you're um, you're using a uh, gallon jug of plastic, really, really, really got to shake it up. This one's been sitting a while. As you can see, this very clear resin line. So we got to get that resin mixed in. So with that said, we're going to shake this for a while. Then we're going to pour it into our uh, Presto pot and uh, then wait for this to cook. It'll take a while to cook um, in the pot. You can always re you can always heat this up in the microwave in cups and then transfer it to the pot. We're just gonna cook it in the pot. I'm not in like a huge hurry. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, then we'll sort of pick a color, pick a mold, and make a ton of stuff. Okay, so we've got the pot hot and uh, just letting it kind of scorch out any little leftover shrubs in there. So the pot is set to about 350. And uh, we're gonna go ahead Pour in the goodies. Forgot how splashy the floating plastic is. It's so different. Has such a different, uh, such a different feel to it. Oop, oh, oh no, we're splashing everywhere. Yeah, buddy. Check it out. Okay. That's a lot of milk. There it is. So, we will be back after a while. It's gonna take a while to cook all that. And what I decided to do was for this video, instead of just picking one mold, I picked sort of a theme. Crawls and creatures. Oops. I don't know why that's not focusing. Come on, baby. So this is the uh, AI crazy hog, sort of a brush hog right there. And then we have a really exciting mold. This one's still pretty new. This is the AR crawl. And then of course, 
You cannot do crawls and creatures without the mighty Ecto Crawl. So, shooting all three of these equally, how many creatures and crawls do you think we're going to get out of that one gallon? We are uh, officially beginning the gel phase. So now it kind of looks like jelly. And uh, after this, it will be workable liquid plastic. So, yeah, still a ways to go. But, um, yeah, we're getting there. All right, we are pretty much there. Yeah. So you can see we've got some kind of bubbles um, that have kind of, uh, I guess, uh, collected at the top. So that kind of makes it easy to scoop them out. Looks like we still have a little bit of stuff on the edge and gel phase there. But we can get we can get a lot of these bubbles out just like that. And uh, essentially, they'll rise to the top and, and kind of cook out. So we are, uh, we are pretty much there. So anyway, that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. And I don't know what this black stuff is coming up. It might just be some... Uh, some old stuff left in the pot. These pots are really old, so who knows what that is. Couldn't tell you. So we'll kind of obviously have to clean things up a little bit. And, uh, and then we'll add some color. All right, we're going to go with what I consider to be a, uh, a, a very, very good creature bait color. Um, and craw color. So I, I guess I would just call this Green Pumpkin Blue. So we're going to start there with some Luberworks Green Pumpkin 109. And then we're going to add, oh, well, the label's gone. So this is MF Dark Watermelon. This is a really exciting pigment. It's, uh, it's really, it's almost got a, a chameleon effect about it. It's really, really great. So I like to combine these two a lot. Really, really beautiful stuff. So anyway... We will get that stirred in and just see where we're at in terms of saturation. Oh yeah, look at that. I can already tell I'm gonna need a lot more pigment. Eh, well, I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Let's just get her mixed in and see where we are. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's still pretty thin. Still pretty thin, so we'll, we'll, keep, uh, we'll keep adding color till we so we think we've got it. Yeah, definitely need to add a bunch more. There we go. Load it up, I say. When you're dealing with a gallon, you, you almost can't overdo it. Okay. So now we'll uh, stir this. <clears throat> and then basically we're just going to add black flake and blue flake, which sort of gives you just a really pretty color. You know, just, just pumpkin blue, which I think will look good in all three molds. And it's a simple color, you know, doing it in the pot. Obviously, we got to do a single solid color. And uh, I think that one will work, work pretty nicely. So, all right. We're just going to add more of this one, the dark watermelon. We're almost there, I think. Because that black flake will also change the way that this looks. Pretty cool to add this much stuff. All right, so now let's get our flakes. And where is my flake spoon? Here it is. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sort of a long color build here, but there's a lot of color we got to get in there. So we're just going to start spooning out some black flake. Lots of it. Lots and lots and lots. Sorry, oh, here comes some more laundry noise. Sorry, y'all. <sighs> I hate it when the audio is just mudded up. All right, and then now for the blue. This makes it pretty. Blue flake goes with, uh, with, with green pumpkins very nicely, in my opinion. Then you could spike this with a little bit of like small purple flake, and then you have like a really nice tilapia color. You could put some orange in there. You could do all sorts of stuff. But we're going to leave it be. I, I, well, I think. You never know. 
but my plan is to just make this pumpkin blue color. Look at that. That's a lot of flake. Woohoo! A lot of stirring. To, a lot of stirring still needs to happen. That's awesome. Yeah. This will really let us know where we're at. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like what I'm seeing. Okay, and now we'll just kind of look at it. Yeah, so it looks really good. I think overall we just need a little bit more flake. All right, it's time to lock and load for the first time. And uh, we're about to wear this injector out because we have a ton of plastic, but it is looking good. So I think this color, I think this color is going to do really well. All right, let's do it. All right, first run. Yeah. We'll just kind of see what happens. Hopefully those fill. All right, let's take a look at this first mold. I don't even remember which one this is. Oh, you know what? We gotta drum roll it. Hold on. Gotta drum roll it. Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, the crazy hogs. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah. There it is. Pumpkin blue. Think that'll work. Yeah. Got a little boo-boo there in that one, but first shot. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I like it. I think that color's uh I think that color's looking just about like I wanted it to. You know, you could always darken it with with a few drops of black. Um you could uh, you know, always thicken the saturation, a drop or two of red here and there. Usually looks pretty good. Yeah, the AR crawls are looking good there. We'll uh show those to you here in just a second. Let's see how the Ecto Cross turned out. Oh yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're on our way. We have one shot down. There it is. Yeah, that's just one. It's just one round. Many, many, many more to go. All right, lock and load again. All right, here we go, another round. Yeah, feeling good. Come on, stop taking it. I hate it when it does that. When it pulls the runner out of the thing, that means my plastic is still a little bit too gooey. I need to I need to get it a little hotter I cut it down so I cooked it on 400 and I turned it down once uh, once the plastic got up the temp but when it's sticking like that and you're pulling it that just means that the plastic needs to be hotter it's uh it's setting up too much in the actual sprue and then it's pulling it if that makes sense all right let's check out round two Man, we're gonna have so many baits. This will be uh, one hellacious sales post because I'm gonna probably post them all together as one big box because I do not need this many, so I might as well offer them to you guys. All right. Let's see, these are the, uh, um, yeah. The ARs. Yep. 
Looking good, looking good. Next. If I can get this to close. Come on, baby. You can do it. And last but not least. Yeah. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, feeling good. Ooh, that ejector's hot. Gonna have to double glove it on the next one, which I should be anyways. Always be safe, people. All right. Yes, sir. All right, round four. Hope y'all uh, aren't tired of seeing this color because there's a lot more coming. Yeah, we've already taken a nice chunk out of the pot. It was all the way up to, to here. You can kind of see maybe a little bit where it was. And uh, I don't know, we've taken it down an inch and a half. So, still lots more to go. So I've got a two cup uh, size Pyrex here full of basically the uh, injector plugs and just, you know, some of this leftover stuff right there off the tops. So what we'll do is we'll heat that up in the microwave and add it back to the pot. So we'll cycle back through some remelt, um, but we're gonna leave runners and sprues unremelted uh, because in normal production, you know, guys aren't uh, stripping baits off the runners and remelting them as they go. You'd be here all day. So we're going to see what we get with one full round of this gallon without then removing the baits, chopping up the runners, and then remelting that as well. Um, that's just way too much. All right. So now we're going to top off the pot a little bit. Just when we thought we were almost done. Nope. Added a bunch more. All right, this is round, I have no idea, but uh, the color's still looking good. Flake uh, saturation and suspension still looks good. The color's not fading, it's not scorching, it's not burning, I don't see any flake bleed. So, you know, despite this plastic now being kept at workable temperature for a long time, um, everything is still looking really good. Really, really, really good. All right, so here's what we wound up with. We, uh, we had to throw away about this much left in the bottom of the pot. Um, it had just kind of started scorching there on the bottom. Um, so that plastic I pretty much just kind of deemed not really all that usable. Um, so this is what we have. Lots and lots of ectocross there. Yeah, lots of crazy hogs. And then a ton of AR crawls. So this was the highest cavity count mold at six. So each, uh, each run of those is six, each run of these is four, and each run of these is three. So we'll ultimately have more of these than anything else. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Look at this. It's like a waterfall of bass candy. Yeah, pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll uh, count them up here uh, shortly. But the question uh, of the day is, which one is your favorite? Do you like this color and the Ectocraw better? The, uh, the Crazy Hog or, or the AR Craw? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, 96 AR Craws, 56 um, crazy hogs and 45 uh, ecto crawls so there are the runners right there for each one and uh, of course you could then remelt that and get quite a few more so uh, and, and like I said I had to throw out a few cups worth of plastic from the bottom of the um, from the bottom of the pot you know about that thick of a plate 
um, which is a pretty good amount of plastic, but it's not too uh, significant. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, that's about 200 baits, give or take, right there. So not, not every sprue had every single bait on it. Um, you know, a couple of them had some contaminants in it or something didn't fill. So this is kind of weeded out. But uh, yeah, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies. Yeah, cool. This was fun. All right, everybody. So thanks for watching. Um, uh, again, we are still on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're almost to 91,000. Wow. Um, so definitely like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and tell a friend. Just everybody, get a friend to subscribe, and we will be there. And then we, I will finally have reached my one goal of YouTube is to get to 100,000. Um, but seriously, uh, super fun. Um, I had, you know, I had a couple of gallon jugs of plastic. So when I taught the bait seminar, the, the in-person bait seminar down in Tampa recently, um, you know, Dead On Plastics just being one of the sponsors of the channel, um, shout out to them. Thanks uh, for everything that y'all do for me. But, um, you know, they sent me some plastic for the event and I had a couple of gallon jugs left over and I was like, yeah, I need to do something fun with those. Um, so in any event, they're sort of the, the yield of a gallon and even then I could have squeezed some more out here and there. So um, yeah, it's really fun to see what a whole gallon of this stuff can do. So often, you know, we're working in the five gallon buckets and we're siphoning out a little at a time, you know, for, for a set of baits here, a set of baits there. You know, I'm not like a big production guy. I don't have a shooting star or anything like that. So I rarely run a gallon of plastic at a time and it's always super fun. I mean, holy cow, look at all that. So in any event, Hope y'all enjoyed it. It was fun to just line up a bunch of baits and just run them, shoot through a whole gallon. Hadn't done that in a while. So um, like, subscribe, notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next video.